Hello everyone, it's Gary. I'm the owner and developer of uh, CSGO Trader app. Um, this is going to be a video that uh, describes the update I just published. It's version 2.0. Uh, I had a video in the past uh, like this, but it's from October last year, so it's, it's pretty outdated by now. Uh, I'm going to go through the main features really quickly, uh, so people who are interested can uh, check it out and know if it, this is something they want to install and uh, then I will turn around and show everything in detail well, hopefully everything I'm sure I will be missing some things because over the past year I've been developing it I've added many features so let's um, jump right into this if you want to download the application then you you can go to CSGO Trader app and uh, choose your platform and install it so if you check the incoming offers page, when, once you've installed the extension, you can see uh, an incoming offer summary, which shows how many trades you, you have active and what your potential profit is. Uh, you can see trade history uh, with, your, with the trade partners displayed under the items, you, you can see the float values and prices added to the items. Uh, the exterior is there. Uh, there is a quick, quick decline, quick accept buttons. And um, on this page, it's mostly this. Mm, once you open a trade offer, you can see that the header was moved to the left. That's optional. You can see here floats, exteriors, uh, prices added. You can see the trade totals um, on each side. You can see the tradable inventory values from each side. You can uh, you can sort the items: uh, expensive to cheap, cheap to expensive, floats, uh, sticker price, names by by many things. You can you can add and remove multiple items uh, with the extension. Uh, you can inspect in the browser from here. Uh, the same similar things uh, yeah, are available in the inventories. You can see invent total inventory values when you open someone's inventory. You can see flows, exteriors. Uh, you can see the items are colored based on uh, mostly rarity and uh, Doppler phases have special colors. Uh, you can start selecting uh, items. Uh, once you start, once you select some items, the mass selling list appears. Um, you can you can uh, mass sell your items with the extension by 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 selecting the items you want to sell and set your price, or let the extension use the recommended price. Then you just click start listing and your items are sold. Um, you can export your items or someone else's items list. You just click generate here, you can customize this as well. Then you can download uh, CSV and see the list of items you have. Uh, yep. Um, you can see a float bar added if you click sh uh, show technical then you can see all the technical details about the item that you possibly want you can see the duplicate counter uh, the name tag repositioned uh, the names are changed for doppers and similar items it's a link to their market page you can see uh, links to other exteriors added you can quickly uh, check the other exteriors in the market. There is an inspecting browser button that opens an inspection uh, and you, you can bookmark an item and then uh, from the bookmarks you can add the comment, uh, you can get notified when it's tradable so you can send the offer right away when when it's uh, when it's time for, for trading. Um, um, you can sort in inventories as well you can set default sorting um, for inventories uh, in the options 
uh, and whether you want to show the partner history uh, if you go to the market you you will see the price is loading for your market listings uh, it shows you if your item is the cheapest on the market at the moment uh, similarly for the buy orders you will see that uh, if your buy order is the highest buy order at the moment uh, the prices will be loading in a second and in the meantime I'm showing you for example AK Redline let's see you can see the float values, stickers, sticker conditions, sticker values, loading you can do sorting here as well for example let's uh, do most expensive uh, sticker price it's uh, on this page it applies to the page, the sorting, but uh, you can go to the market options and if you want a hundred items shown on the market, on market listings, then you can just do that. Um, there are links to the market searches for the stickers to check the prices more appropriately. You can see the condition is, is low on this one, it's so it's uh, it's it's really dark. It's indicated by that. Um, you can also inspect items uh, right from here in the in your browser. You can see the technical details here as well. You can see uh, <coughs> the price on the seller's currency and uh, what they get after the market fee was applied. And uh, also you can check the other exteriors from up here and inspect the item I think that's mostly it for the market listings and you can see the uh, price is loaded for the listings and off and uh, buy orders so if it's green then it means my my listing is the highest at the moment um, also something really cool is that you can export your market uh, history it's really useful if you are someone who, who makes a lot of market transactions and want to analyze it it takes a, a few seconds depending uh, on how many of your history events you want to export once that's done you can download it also in a CSV and just uh, get a, an overview of your of your past transactions you can I'm sure you can do some nice diagrams from this but I, I will show this to you in, in more detail once I am I've showed you uh, the main features so um, you can also set the extension to auto bump trades on on uh, CSGO launch and CSGO traders it's in the other other option menu you can uh, back up and restore your options and preferences I've showed you market stuff right on profiles if you check someone's profile uh, you will see an option to show offer history you can uh, copy their profile permanent link it will be copied to your clipboard there is a plus rep button added once you press it it will post your customized rep reputation message that you can uh, set up here on your own profile you can uh, you have a similar button but it's a reoccurring message button if you do that it removes your your message that you usually post and repost it on top um, there is not safe for work feature which removes uh, backgrounds and uh, profile pictures so it's a clean experience you are not showing some uh, some animatities to your colleagues or, or something um, you can uh, set it to show the real status of uh, someone if uh, this guy was away at the moment it would show away instead of online for example uh, I'm not sure if that this guy had any scam comments, but if he did, it would be reported automatically by the extension. Um, right, I've showed you this. There are a bunch of options that you can customize. 
you can customize what you want in your pop-up for example um, you can change the currency you can change the pricing provider if you want pricing at all um, if you want the sticker price to be shown and refresh the prices you, uh, I'm advising you to set your API keys uh, because it adds it's more features and I also advise you to turn on API access uh, tabs API access because for example once you bookmark an item it opens in a new tab but uh, if you do that with if you do that uh, without the tabs API permission then it will not open so it's kind of confusing uh, you can customize the you, there's some comment patterns that you want reported for example uh, you can see comments on profiles like you want some giveaway and it's clearly a scam so if you find the extension not reporting those you can add your own patterns here you can also uh, set colorful items on or off then you see the items returning to their original boring black background so I think it's much nicer but it's your choice also if you keep uh, collect usage data on then it helps me to your extension will report some uh, some analytics events like like your preferences uh, and how, how some people use the extension so it helps me understand what features are needed and used so I can prioritize the incoming features better now I think I've showed you yeah you can uh, set uh, on, in the bookmarks you can uh, choose to be notified uh, when the items become tradable you can do it from a native browser notification that pops up, pops up uh, uh, on the notification area and you will know the item is tradable or you can set a classic alert that that uh, puts the tab in focus you can also choose the time you that you want to be notified on yeah there are also some useful links on the bookmarks like to the owners profile to the trade link to the items link directly to market link inspect etc it's it's really handy and as I said you can leave comments uh, about it's probably from an agreement that you you've done with someone and when it becomes tradable you can just send it right away so okay I think this video did not go as I've planned uh, because I because it uh, was shorter than I thought it would be actually if I, I if I will make a video about all the features then I should really plan plan ahead and write up some stuff that I want to show because it's it's uh, there are many features and it's it's chaotic so okay something I want to show you is uh, is how to use the mass selling feature because that's important for a lot of people so if I'm not sure if you know it but the limit for CSGO item is a thousand items and I have pretty close to that so what I usually do is I select some of my cheap items and uh, I wait a bit for the prices to load and and then I just uh, let the extension list them and I only have to confirm it on my phone so I will show that to you in a second also I'm sure I've met some yeah I'm gonna show you how to use the to use to use the extension to add multiple items of the same kind for example you can you can uh, hold down the control button and click uh, click an item and it will add the similar items to the trade you can also control and uh, right click on items then click 
selected. Oh, wait, how does it work? <laughs> All right, you, you have to specify how many of those you want added. And they are going to be added. Oh no, it's, you're supposed to select the similar item. So if you want two selected, then you have to add two. You can similarly select two of them. No, you can select only one of them and set two or three and they will be moved if they are the same item or similar items. <coughs> it's mostly useful if you have many cases or or keys that you want to transfer and add to an offer. For example, I have a red line AK is a couple. If I want to move, if I want to add five of these to the trade, then I can do it like this. Yeah, okay, so you can also choose to add all of the page to the offer or or just remove everything from a side. It's pretty handy. Also, I advise you to go to the options and uh, to pick your default sorting mode. I, I think expensive to cheap is the best because you can clearly see, for example, if uh, someone who made an offer has enough items for for what they want and uh, you can just add, add the expensive items you don't have to go through many pages of cheap cases and to find the proper items it's really handy you can also choose uh, the default active inventory once you open a, a trade offer then uh, you can uh, you can see that it switches to the other player's inventory or other user's inventory more like and uh, this is also handy because why would you want to check your own items all the time you can all sure you, I guess you want floats added automatically why not and yeah default uh, sorting mode So the difference here is that uh, this is for this is for trade offers, and this is for the incoming trade offers page. So this this most profitable to biggest loss is what I have set. So uh, on every time I refresh this page, I always see the best offers. So I, I in a quick glance I can I can take a look how things are going, and just deal with the best ones and take the time and check the worst offers later. <clears throat> so before we go back to the inventory, if I click mass start mass listing, then it will start to list the items on the market and the notifications are, are popping up on my phone and I only have to accept them there. I'm going to show no, I'm not going to show you. I think this is going to be it. I hope you like the app. If you do, you can go to CSGO Trader app and get it, install it. If you want uh, some feature added, write me an email, open an issue on GitHub. You will be able to reach me on, on multiple platforms. Uh, so I hope you like it. See you guys.